Yo, Adam, one, can you hear me? Yo, Calvin Alexander, what is up? Okay, two, can you hear any background noise? I have some music on right now. TMSSB. That's not Dan's, right? You don't hear background noise. Okay. Huh. Oh, I think I know why. Hold up. I think I know why. Uh, I'm going to just... Uh... Hey, Mav. How you doing? Oh, Tristan. I didn't... Yeah. What's up, Tristan? Hi. Good to see ya. I am going to... Good question. How do I do this? Uh, one second. I think the issue is I'm sharing the wrong uh, thingamajig. Or maybe not. Huh. Well, we might just need to make do with no music, which is not ideal, unfortunately. Uh, let me see if maybe I can properties. Hmm. Unmute desktop audio. Uh, it, it is unmuted. So the crazy thing is earlier today, I was uh, doing this exact same setup, exact same stream and it uh, did not work. Well, it worked and now it doesn't, which is confusing. So I'm gonna mess around with some settings. We're not starting for like a few more minutes, um, realistically. So I'm, I'm gonna just vibe. There it is. Uh, All right, I'm checking DMs. Desktop audio, let me see this. We knew it was going to be a little bit scuffed. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's fine. I can figure it out later. I mean, I think once once we start talking, it'll be a, a little uh, a little flavorless, but honestly, we can make do. Um, I'm just going to drop some links in some discords and then... All right, hold up. I, I'll, I'll try one more time. Good question. Uh, it, it was earlier. I think that's where a lot of the confusion for me is coming from. I'm going to change this up really quick. Well, guys, you were struggling through this with me, and uh, we will we will make do as is. I think um, I'll, I'll figure it out. I was running the stream earlier today uh, on my lunch break, and I had no issues, and it was working. But OBS has been a little bit finicky with me lately, so 
I, I want to say I'm surprised, but I'm really, really not. Uh, given my given my luck. I change it like yeah no it's still not it's still not even if I change the source so I'm not sure what's going on with that um, but we will uh, I'll, I'll figure it out hey Ziff what's going on all right I'm just gonna drop the link and I'm gonna drop a twit tweet and then I'll, I'm probably just gonna start honestly I don't want to put it off too much uh, I'm plan on starting around 6:35. Um, give it a little bit of time for people to filter through. Oh yeah, you're at practice right now. Justin, uh, I love you too, buddy. I love you too. I just, I literally just have to drop the link in, in uh, the, the Northern New England servers and then I'm going to start. It's just taking a minute, so. I think with that, give me one second and we're gonna start. And Hey, level three. All right, I'm just gonna jump into it, guys. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be the first stream. It's gonna be a little bit scuffed, so bear with me. Next week, I'm hoping to have uh, a much better presentation, hoping to have a much better uh, kind of stream quality, but this is my first time, so again, bear with me. Um, hopefully going over all the states, gonna go over the PRs, gonna go over the weekly results, gonna go over GSG, um, and gonna pitch you some ideas uh, that hopefully you guys can play along with for next week. Um, goal at the moment is doing these every Tuesday, 6.30ish, uh, depending on kind of when I get out of work. Um, should be 15, 30 minutes, uh, nothing crazy. Some weeks will be slower, some weeks will be, will be bigger. I think this is a bigger week just because of GSG and uh, some big stuff going on in the States. But yeah, uh, we're going to jump into it. If you have any, uh, any comments, otherwise, um, if you aren't Justin, I'll, I'll, I'll answer them. But for now, uh, we're gonna start off with New Hampshire. Yeah, Tristan, probably. My roommate's a streamer, but like, streamer. Um, I, it just, OBS is being finicky right now. But starting off with uh, New Hampshire, just touching base on the graphic, touching base on the PR, because obviously not every, everyone's gonna know the other states, and a goal of this is to make each other more familiar so uh, I, I think Tyler and I are the obvious like one and two I think we're generally the people who are pretty known in and out of the region 
Um, but after that, Insignia has been a steady third for a few seasons now. I don't think he's dipped below fourth in over two years. He's been very consistent. Um, Ethan has been a powerhouse. He's been fourth the last three or four seasons. Caleb is pretty consistently top five, top six. Uh, same with Duffy. They normally trade spots, trade places. Kevin, formerly Accelerate, uh, number seven. Dan's Undertale, number eight. And then Thrags and Big Boy uh, are nine and ten. Uh, that is Big Boy's first time on PR. I believe this is Thrigs' second, if I'm not mistaken. So jumping into the New Hampshire kind of locals for the week. Um, pretty Pretty quiet weeks for all the states, but... Uh, the big things that stand out for Radiant Saga, which is our Monday night local, um, is local Falco Crus, uh, Crus Colby, also OK, uh, you the Burger King, something like that, something crazy. Uh, beat Cabela uh, in a reverse 3-0. Uh, his first time beating Cabela in almost two years, so good stuff to Crus. Uh, that is. Not easy. Uh, Caleb was my bracket demon for a long time, and I, you know, it took it took a while uh, to to fix that, um, and even keep the even keep the sets competitive. So, kind of cool to see Crust doing well recently in New Hampshire. I know he won a <laughs> won a uh, a local in Maine as well early in the season. Um, Insignia ended up actually winning that local. There weren't too many upsets. However, him and Duffy did trade set with Insignia clutching out uh, game 12 in the Grands Reset. Uh, they'd actually play again later, but we'll, we'll comment on that, uh, that funny little tidbit. Um, at our Friday local, Live Free or DI, uh, taking place that is at the SNU uh, campus. Thriggs made the biggest upset of uh, the week as far as locals go uh he upset me uh before a top eight and then he would go on to i believe place fourth um i don't think he actually made another upset because he was seated to beat the person he beat in loser side top eight after that uh he would lose to i believe the four seed was duffy um but thrig's doing really well lately um really good consistency he's had some good peaks so shout out to thrig's doing really well and then Kind of the reverse happened at uh, in the in Grands with Duffy. Uh, he's actually PR PR number six. I got those mixed up, different seasons. Uh, but Duffy and Insignia would play another three sets, and Duffy would win this. They played six sets this week. Four game four every single set, and twenty four games total uh, just this week. So kind of crazy. A lot of sets, a lot of games. Uh, a little too much Yoshi for my taste, but shout out to, to both of them for winning the locals this week and doing just really well overall. Um, gonna try to do this for some of the bigger upsets, generally speaking, but a nice visualization of the upsets for the week. So you have Crest over Caleb, Insignia taking it over Duffy. Duffy was seated above Caleb at the uh, pre-local. It was larger, uh, a larger event, and Duffy's been on a tear lately. So shout out to Duffy. Uh, doing really well, not only lately, but uh, overall doing really well at that that second local of the week. Thrigs taking it over me, and uh, Mav taking it over Mook, Mook the Handsome, to be, in, you know, accurate, Mook the Handsome. Uh, no other upsets kind of for the week that stood out as far as locals go in New Hampshire. Uh, also, shout out to Poppy the Goat for, for all these slides. Um, he got these made for me in three days. Uh, the graphics, the, the the slides, the template, everything. So uh, quick quick shout out to Poppy. If you ever need anything stream related or even just art, hit him up. Uh, we're going to go on to P Vermont next. Um, their graphic is uh, adorable. <laughs> um, so number one, we have Arango. Uh, a really good Samus main. Doesn't travel too, too much, but... Uh, Really, really good. Um, generally wins almost every local if he's not making it to Grands at the very least. Uh, after that, we have Plaidman. He's uh, an import Bowser main from uh, Washington. Really good Bowser. Generally 
places top three, I think, every local. I don't think I've seen him below that. Uh, we have Kyle TM, a really good Steve. It doesn't say it here. Steve and Pikachu Comain. I've played the Pikachu. It's real. He's very good. Uh, Taco Cat coming in at number four with the Cloud. Juice Box at number... Oh, okay. Idaho, Washington. Same. Moving on. <laughs> um, Juice Box on the Min Min uh, at number five. Jixi on the Zelda at number six. X at number seven with the Incineroar. And anybody who paid attention to Match Harder uh, kind of went on a run. So maybe we'll see him crack into that top five this upcoming season. Uh, we have Juno or Shay at number eight on the Ice Climbers and Robin inconsistently. Fabi Schmerda at number nine on the Kazia. I know he also plays some of the other FGC characters. And Butter at number 10 on the Pac Man. Uh, a name you're going to see on the next slide is Sunny uh, a few times. He's been. Seems like he's doing pretty well this season. Uh, we'll get into it. Uh, Bobby Schmerda uh, winning both brackets this week. Pretty pretty slow week. I think between Mash Harder and the Super Bowl, it was kind of a, kind of a quieter week for the for the scene, um, especially with midterms coming up as well. But uh, they still hosted their Maple Lane ninety eight and their breadwinners. Uh, Bobby Schmerda taking both of those with the Ken. Um, I think the, the shout out other than Fobby is Sonny. I think he made it to grands of both of those brackets. He also made an upset on Shay or Juno, uh, who was a couple places above him on PR. So shout out to Sonny. Um, smaller brackets this week in Vermont. Normally they average about 20, 25, um, at Maple and Breadwinner. I think they get around 10 to 20. They weren't quite at those numbers, but events still happened, results still happened, and we want to recognize uh, Sonny for, for doing doing good at his events. So, uh, yeah, one upset, which was Sonny and Fortuno. Um, I think Sonny beat, technically beat a few more people he was supposed to lose to. Um, but, yeah, shout out to Sonny. Uh, moving on to Maine. Uh, Anybody not familiar with Maine, they've been grinding. Uh, their PR has changed a lot over the years. Shard and MFD were pretty dominant. And then with Whirlpool coming back and Meat Burger, uh, kind of a Wi-Fi warrior coming offline, uh, he's on the Shulk. He's doing incredibly. Uh, I don't think I've seen him place lower than fourth or fifth in a main bracket, and those were stacked monthlies. So huge shout out to Meat Burger, doing, uh, doing amazing. Uh, the last season, and even this season, having strong performance. Uh, Whirlpool, kind of, uh, I think it's Connecticut import. I know he traveled around a lot as well, but he's pretty much settled in southern Maine at the moment. Uh, solid number two. Um, I think he's he's positive on Meat Burger as well. Um, really talented player, so shout out to Whirlpool on the Rob. Excellency, I don't think he needs any introductions in New England. He's been around, sorry, they've been around forever. Uh, on the Yellow Yoshi and... Uh, Kind of a grinder. Uh, they were at this GSG. They were at the pre-local. They're looking to do a lot better, and they're looking to travel a lot more. So expecting to see excellency, maybe higher up on that PR in the next season. But they have been ranked number one previously, so it would it surprise anybody. Uh, Shard, kind of longstanding, number one, number two in Maine. Not super active, but not anybody to sleep on. Uh, no recent results to speak of. However, the last big event Shard was at, um, in my memory, was the one where he double eliminated DM, who would go on to be ranked number one in mass and pretty consistently top five. So, yeah. Uh, after that, we have some new names. Uh, Insect on the everybody depends on that week uh she's doing great on the sephiroth at the moment dr miami another kind of long-standing character uh on the primarily incineroar not super active but when he shows up he gets some wins uh <laughs> gird we'll get to that <laughs> uh lecture on the snake he's been doing incredibly this season um keeping up the results the attendance uh when he's not working so shout outs to the unemployed uh, to the employed smashers uh wizard on the falco uh danilla on the bayo and hot hot on the bowser all three of those uh kind of fiends kind of at most brackets that they're able to make it to so uh yeah we'll get into their weekly i i was actually a big fan of main's weekly results this week uh at elite smash series lecture did take the bracket dropping a set to insects falco 
Uh, my favorite kind of tidbit from this week, however, is Scotch Bonnet, the, the Little Mac, making a crazy run as a seven seed to third, beating Big Bog, the Donkey Kong, Laser, the Bowser, and Jaja, the Steve Main, all solo Little Mac. Um, crazy. I, I, I don't know how else to phrase that, uh, doing that at Little Mac, but Scotch has been doing consistently way, way better across the board. I've seen him put up some really inconsistently good placements, um, and I've seen kind of looking through his... <laughs> look at, looking through it. I think we're all Scotch fans for the record. Uh, putting up some really good numbers, uh, placements, getting some good wins, some inconsistent um, higher level main wins as well. So uh, shout out to Scotch, I think. Um, I mean, Lecture and Insect are established and they're incredible players, but you know, I think a big part of this stream is recognizing the people who make those runs, who show up and do really good. You may not always get the credit, may get the spotlight, but this is your chance. So shout out to Scotch. Um, up north, uh, quieter bracket, uh, attack on patties as well. GCAB winning that with no sets dropped, double eliminating absolute the Bayonetta. Uh, shout out to GCAB. I've seen him win a few locals lately, doing really, really well. Uh, just steady improvement and consistency is such an underrated aspect of skill. You know, people talk about, you know, getting good wins and nobody talks about not taking bad losses. And GCAB, I think the last few months, I haven't seen him take any crazy bad losses relative to his skill. Um, so shout out to GCAB for the, the consistent improvement and the grind. Uh, love to see it. Uh, and then here are the upsets colorized. Um, so you have the Insect vs. Lecture, Scotch Bonnet beating Big Bog, Jaja, and Wizard. Uh, 2-1, 2-0, 2-1, respectively. And then Jaja did make an upset this week as well. I don't want to sleep on that. Jaja did beat Laser, was seeded to lose that. Um, it's a really good matchup, really good uh, really good character, but Laser is is no slouch, so shout out to Jaja winning that. Uh, main Smash, always interesting to look at. I feel like your mid-level and your high-level are really close um, relative to within themselves. And there's always upsets happening, so I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of upsets in, in future streams, and I'm excited to, to kind of cover that. Uh, GSG, can I get it out of the way? I won. And we're going to move on to other things, because I think a lot happened this weekend at GSG that was really, really cool. Um, so I won the bracket over Nuggets, Insignia, and Due To. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but I think a lot of other stuff happened that was way cooler. Uh, Milt, the retired Mario main and employed smasher and full-time college student, uh, taking it over Nuggets, the employed Daisy main, uh, round one with a 2-0, which I don't think anybody saw coming in the slightest, but he pulled out the Mario, he put in work, he got his NEPR win for the season, amazing job, Milt, Halcyon, whatever name you go by this season. Um, we're gonna talk more about this later, but... Crust, Crustavo, Fring, Burger King, okay, you the Burger King. I still don't understand that that name. Uh, went, lost his first set of the bracket and made a five set losers run to top eight to play seventh out of fifty entrants, which I think to date might be his best bracket placement ever. Uh, so huge shout out to Crust. Uh, okay, second set, you know what I mean, Insignia. Um, Meat Burger uh, had a tough bracket, uh, lost to Adam or Insignia, who I think he has a lifetime losing head-to-head to, head to um, in winners. And then falling into losers, he actually lost to, to Nuggets for ninth. Nuggets, you know, getting upset by Milt, knocking, I think, multiple top 12 seeds out way earlier than they should have been. So Meat Burger putting on an incredible performance regardless of that. Him evening up his head-to-head -head with Cabela of Lifetime. I believe they're 1-1 now. Uh, getting his run back at the very least, but I think we all know Meat Burger could have put in insane work if he wasn't a victim to that uh, that Nuggets losers run. So shout out to Meat Burger. Uh, incredible player. Uh, hoping to see him out more. Hoping to play him more when I visit Maine. Uh, some other other things to comment on. Duffy, anybody who watched that, uh, <laughs> uh, Duffy taking it over Zarya. 
and Yogi and Losers. Duffy winning a last stock, last hit versus Zarya. Zarya number six in Rhode Island. No slouch. Ton of amazing wins. Um, he also beat Yogi and Losers. Uh, Yogi is an incredible Rob. He's showing up. He's actually made it to Grands with a few RSs. Uh, Yogi also beating Excellency, a, an amazing Yoshi, as we talked about earlier. So Duffy taking it over Yogi by the skin of his teeth. Amazing job um, to both. Uh, already commented on Nuggets Losers run, but in case anybody didn't know, uh, Nuggets won nine consecutive sets after going to Losers to make it a Grand Finals to barely lose a Grand Finals Game 5 last stock last hit insane and i know this is covering northern new england but anybody who knows nuggets knows he supports uh every state in the the region more than i think any other high level player i've met uh so shout out to Nugget, nuggets not only showing up grinding with us playing with us um but just recognizing us being a homie uh off the top of my head pretty sure nuggets beat king meat Bre meat burger due to cross insignia duffy and more just insane um insane run there were some other minor upsets as well i know steven uh did really good taking it over Jixie, uh really the really strong zelda from vermont i think number six if i'm not mistaken so shout out to steven doing really well uh insect beating uh steven uh doing really well in that insect having a pretty tough bracket uh let me see this pulling bracket really quick uh in, and then Insect going out, actually, to Nuggets. Yeah, Insect, again, somebody who you probably would have seen make it to ninth, make it maybe to top eight, but a victim of, of that Nuggets run. Um, looks like he was going to fight... Uh, Insect was going to fight King, and he would have... King would have fought Insect's Sephiroth. So I think, I think Insect could have made an insane run, but she, uh, unfortunately victim to, to the Nuggets Daisy. A uh, couple other things of note, uh, Fall taking it over Alex the Snake. I actually think Fall was negative to Alex before this, so shout out to Fall for, for winning that. A um, couple of invaders made upsets as well. Uh, Captain Phoenix or Woodsy the Kazia taking it over X, number seven in Vermont. Cabela, number five in New Hampshire. Uh, barely losing game three to Zarya, and Zarya going on to top eight, despite not being a top eight seed, taking it over uh, Poppy, Kenoble, Captain Phoenix, and Paulo. So really good run from Zarya. Uh, Rhode Island kind of being a secondary, uh, or sorry, a fourth Northern New England state, the way we have kind of built that relationship. So shout out to, to them. And uh, yep, Adam, don't worry. Uh, Ziff did take it and upset Zarya, who plays seventh. So in the scope of Zarya's run, I think going 6-2, 5-2, beating a bunch of good players. Uh, Ziff, local Lucina from Northern Mass, who pretty much only attends New Hampshire events, taking it over uh, Zarya, I believe it was Zarya's Wolf. Um, just really, really good showing from Ziff. Uh, really good showing from really all of Northern New England. Uh, I know it's a tough drive all the way down, so hoping we can return the favor in the future and you know, make some drives up to Vermont for the for their Maple Lane 100. I know Blood Moon is coming up, so I'm going to give out some some shout-outs to some upcoming events after this. Uh, and then some upsets visualized. I might have missed a few, so forgive me. Um, kind of limited time and space, but Milt Over Nuggets. Big Boy uh, upsetting Hot Hot early in the bracket. So shout-outs to Big Boy for that. I believe negative to Hot Hot before this. So big win. Uh, Hot Hot's really good Bowser. Uh, Ziff taking it over Zarya, skin of his teeth, Insignia over Meat Burger, uh, Poppy over Thriggs, and Fall over Alex. We also had Steven over Jixi, and Cabello over Woodsy. Bayo game one. Oh yeah, oh, you won, you won Lucina Greninja, you deserve that. <laughs> uh, next slide, I was kind of a safe play. I, I really want to highlight uh, players who don't get a lot of attention in their own states and sometimes just in general in the region. Uh, we have a lot of talent and we have a lot of people who grind and they have inconsistently good results, but sometimes inconsistent results, it's a part of the process, but it sucks we weren't recognized for that effort. Um, and somebody this season has been doing pretty inconsistently well and 
it's kind of refreshing to see. He's been struggling for a while, uh, I think, figuring out Smash and life. So, uh, Player of the Week is something I want to do every week. Um, I need you guys to, to put up a show so I can have some people to pick from. But uh, Player of the Week, in my opinion, uh, is Cruss. Uh, between him, Reverse 3 and Cabela at Radiant Saga getting fourth, his five-set losers run into top eight of GSG, again, best placement, I think, of his life, uh, beating Harmonic, CBK, CBK, who I think is perfect on Ethan and has multiple other New Hampshire PR wins, uh, Mook, who I think generally beats Cruss, Thriggs, who I think they trade sets, and Milt, who beat Nuggets that day. Uh... Really good performance. Really refreshing to see him, seems like, have a much better time with the game, better mental, better performances. He also, uh, it's not listed here, he did go to Maine recently and win a local over multiple PR members, um, if memory serves right. So huge shout out to Cabello, Cristavo, Fring, whatever name he's using that season. Uh, did an amazing job. Uh, so credit where credit is due. And... Uh, yeah, I'm hoping to do more highlights of this. It was actually pretty close. I wanted, to, I was looking primarily at Scotch Bonnet and Cruss, but Cruss performance at a monthly just kind of outweighed the the run that Scotch Bonnet had. But shout out to both of them. Uh, so yeah, guys, show up to your locals. Um, hope the clapping isn't too loud. I move my hands a lot. Uh, show up to your locals. Pre-register. Bring setups. Grind. Ask for advice. Uh, and I'm hoping I can highlight more of your efforts, more people in Northern New England grinding, more people practicing, more people winning. Uh, I don't have too, too much to go over. Uh, I know we have a monthly in New Hampshire, Western New Hampshire, uh, Colonial Clash coming up this Saturday. Uh, New Hampshire, who's in the chat, uh, New Hampshire who's watching, and Maine who's in the chat and watching. Everybody go to Blood Moon. Blood Moon. At the moment, uh, I have a carpool going to Blood Moon. I believe it's me, Big Boy, Thriggs. We don't have a fourth yet. Um, but really important, we support each other's uh, events. I know we've been making up, up to a lot of weeklies for, you know, Buffalo Wild Wings. But I think it's really important. I think if we're going to grind. Oh, yeah, and Calvin Alex. There we go. We got four New Hampshire players going to Blood Moon. Thank you, Calvin. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, keep supporting each other's events. Support your own events. Uh, grind, pre-register, it does so much. Um, and yeah, really excited to see kind of where things go. Uh, future streams, uh, I'm going to put out some, some tweets, but I want to have a, a clip portion where people submit their clips and maybe we watch those together and there will be a prize every week. I'll, I can see what I can put together. Um, but get me your clips, get me your... Uh, results uh put them up and i think the last thing i wanted to put out there too is i want this to kind of be a, a highlight stream but i also want to try to give back to the community um i feel like i'm in a really good position to maybe help some people i've ran into a lot of uh stone walls i guess you could say um insignia i'm gonna be real with you work was a hoe and i didn't have time to finish as much as i wanted to so I will implement many clips next week, but for now we just have the results. I apologize, I'm employed. <laughs> but if anybody wants to submit questions, uh, bracket questions, um, competitive questions, any, any, I guess anything you want, maybe you want to discuss in the stream, maybe you have questions you want me to bring up. Uh, my Twitter is public, it's luxa underscore nh. Probably could have put that in a slide, but I ran short on time. Um, so yeah, send me everything. Send me clips, send me questions. And I'm hoping I can uh, can give back to, to all three states. Uh, player interviews would be pretty cool. Um, I'm actually working on having other people come on here and help me present. Uh, this is kind of a test run, so I wanted to get that get that going at first. But future future streams will be a lot more production heavy, so I'm excited to, to give that to you guys. Uh, monthly top three player interviews would be pretty cool. But yeah. If you guys have anything, feel free to shoot me questions on Discord if you want maybe them discussed on the next stream. Uh, feel free to shoot me them on, preferably on the Twitter, uh, because I pretty much only use that for Smash. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's all I have at the moment. Pre-register for your events, go to your locals, 
Uh, shout out to everybody who TOs, Beardy Dragon, uh, formerly Twitter, X, Shay, Insignia, uh, Duffy, Level 3 CPU. I don't know who TOs the Northern Main stuff, I'm sorry. Uh, T-Boner Patrol. Um, did a lot, of, um, a lot of amazing TOs, so shout out to all of them. And uh, I think that's going to be it for, for me. Um, next week, Tuesday, 6.30, I will be going live again with uh, an even better stream. So hope to see you guys there. Take it easy.